Hello and welcome to episode number 16. I'm your host, Fruit Snack, and I have a lot to talk about. But before I get into anything, if I sound weird or anything like that, it's because my throat has not been that great. My tonsils are swollen. I was basically dying from my throat. Um, it's been getting better. I, I don't know what's been going on with it. But, yeah, so my throat's not been that great so far. Um, besides that, um, I don't know if this podcast will be 30 minutes um, just because of my throat and I have, don't have a lot to talk about. But uh, we do have a lot of questions, actually, so that's pretty cool. Um, but besides that, um, I've been trying to be more active lately. I've been outside swimming. We've been playing um, a dance game on the Wii and like i've been just trying overall to get more active because i feel like maybe that would help me feel a little bit better and it has um because i rode a dirt bike a while ago with my cousin and like i couldn't get it to start for some reason like (laughs) my legs are so weak so i'm like okay i need to at least be going outside once a day like even if it's just walking just sitting or something like at least i'm outside doing something you know um so yeah we have a lot to talk about uh so the dance game that we've been playing is uh old it came out in 2012 2010 around there and uh we've been playing it and it's been actually pretty fun you know just dancing and um we have four controllers all four of us are playing and dancing the whole time so yeah and besides that um we've been swimming once and um that actually helped my throat a lot like i don't know i guess like i don't know how but like i was be able to, to breathe more and stuff like that but um I also been trying not to like talk a lot so this is like a little breaker I'm like doing now since like how to explain like I'm I haven't talked a lot in a long time so like today's Wednesday I think yeah the 27th and um I was like oh I just I need to film a podcast because I did say I was going to post these questions on here for those that were on Instagram they went on Instagram and sent me questions and stuff. I said weird questions, and they sent me some pretty weird ones. Eh, not that weird, though. Not, not, not a little personal either, so they're pretty good questions so far. But um, before we get into the questions, I really wanted to talk about um, like basically a job this summer because <laughs> I wanted a job. Uh, so basically, I got a call actually from the person I used to work with um, at the forest I used to work with (laughs) last summer and they told me that basically the two people that they hired aren't showing up and they basically I guess they backed out or something and I understand because I worked at that job and it's hard and the person that was was talking to me she was like oh yeah and there's like nobody is being like six feet apart everybody's still closed they keep coming and too many people coming like they had to dump the trash earlier than later and i'm like wow i don't feel like i'm safe over there if i do get that job there so basically she was telling me that um the bosses were like hey check if if she wants to do it again if she can and i was like i really don't want to do that job i really want to expand my knowledge of doing different jobs still but um I was thinking about it, like, maybe I should just go back for the summer again, because I do have class in the fall, because that one class that I had to take, I didn't get to do it for my summer class, um, but, uh, I do have also, also, I do also have an interview tomorrow, so that's for a different job, and if I get that job, I don't have to drive far, it's literally a local job here and where I live and I think I'd prefer that but that is a permanent job and I don't want a permanent job I want a temporary job so I can figure out what I want to do forever and I did say what I I wanted to try this job out once and I just don't like that it's a permanent job but then I want to go if I go over there it's going to be a temporary job they said they can work with me again and like that'd be a temporary job for a summer and then I don't know it's like so confusing for me and 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I'm very fortunate to be in this position because many others aren't able to. And for me, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, honestly, I, I don't know if I want to go back to the old job I had and do that or do this new job. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I, I'm like so like confused on what I should do. And you guys probably don't even care about it, but it's just like, it's so confusing because like there's this job that's local, that's local for me, permanent, gives you all these benefits. And it's just like, do I want that permanent position? So I was thinking maybe I'll take like that permanent position, like see how the interview goes. And if they offer me the job, I'll be like, I'll take it, obviously, because then I'll work with them and then still apply for the forest up here nearby me. And if I don't get the job up there again, then I also have a backup plan. And I think that sounds good. I always like backup plans, too, because you never know what's going to happen, especially in these times. So, okay, now I, I think I made my decision. So if they offer me the job for the position here locally, I'm going to take it. And if they don't, then I think I'm going to have to take the old job I have had. So we're going to see what happens. Again, going with the flow of the ocean it can be very destructive. But right now it's going very steadily and I'm liking it. <laughs> Speaking of ocean, tomorrow I'm going to be going to the beach. And honestly, I not gonna like it if there's a lot of people there i'm not gonna stay there i know it's like a, a it's like a two-hour drive depending on which one we're gonna go to i forget but what am i turtle doing oh my god <laughs> what are you doing sorry i get distracted easily but anyways it's a two-hour drive i'm taking my cousin with me because he always goes with me anywhere because he's been itching for adventure too. I've been itching to go freaking <laughs> backpacking. I still want to do that. Uh, but yeah, so beach tomorrow. Um, if there's a lot of people there, I'm not staying there. We're going to go somewhere else. Legit, I don't want to be around a lot of people. And especially since the stay at home order has been lifted here where I am locally only. Doesn't mean that over there they, they don't have it. You know what I mean? So, I think I know. Um, I think I said that correctly. <laughs> but yeah, so beach tomorrow. Hopefully, that's a great experience. Just for a little bit, not for like two days, five days, or like a whole day, maybe, maybe half a day. Um, just because I, I'm not feeling like my throat's barely getting better. I mean, like I'm, I'm not. It's not hurting me. Um. Well, the thing is, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be most likely wearing mask too, because uh don't want to risk anything i have to go to doctors too i don't know when i'm gonna go to doctors um because this this is this is no good <laughs> I just need i just need to know what the doctors will say too but um yeah so that's basically the update so far uh we got a lot of weird questions and i think i want to go into like deep with them even though they're not really meant to be going into deep i just don't really have much other to talk about except for like all these dumb things that have been happening like with like people getting killed by the police and like the whole like people like protesting about it like I can't breathe and if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm pretty sure you do because it's been all over my Twitter it's been all over YouTube and like I've been trying to keep up with things with Philip DeFranco and stuff like that but I was just like let's it's 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 odd that I don't I'm lost of words for it like I just don't know why it's happening and I can't believe it's happening like it shouldn't shouldn't be happening but it's still happening and it's just like really like I don't get it at all but um yeah we can jump into these questions people are probably waiting for the questions to be heard the ones that asked the questions they probably were disappointed that the last podcast didn't have the questions it was me asking for questions it's because once after i filmed it i'm like asking questions like right now please do it now do it but uh besides that um 
I feel like they were like, damn it, just didn't do it. And I was like, don't worry, guys. It was the next podcast. I feel like I was too excited. And then they got excited. And they were just disappointed. And I was like, no, it's, it's not what it. Ah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I have, I have a few questions. Uh, some people sent me. It was a lot. I don't even know how much, honestly. Like, they're all from Instagram. So on my Instagram, I put like a, like a thing I said, ask me weird questions. And then I'm like, like those bracket things parentheses or I, I can't think <laughs> legit I can't uh it said gonna answer in a podcast slash video so I meant that meant for like you it's like my podcast goes on to YouTube as a video version and then like my podcast goes on the audio version on the Spotify and all the other platforms for just audio and just so you know, um, the audio version, if you want to hear the audio version and can't wait for the um, video version or you don't really care for the video version, you just want to hear the audio version because the video version just shows me doing weird things with my hands, doing weird things with my face, shows a little bit more of what I'm doing. If you don't care for that, um, the audio version does come out on Friday before the video version. The video version also comes out on Saturday. They both come out at 11 a.m. So... If you're not up at that time, that's okay. I didn't want to do it too early because people are probably not up that early anymore. And usually, they it's like a weekend. Why would you want to be up early if you don't need to? But yeah, so that's basically with the podcast. Um, but other than that, we can get into the questions since I don't really have much in, much else to talk about. It's already 11 minutes and hopefully it takes up the rest of the time. Unless I randomly start think of something and start talking about something else uh usually that happens oh whoa whoa before i get into the questions actually i'm like probably teasing all the people that want to hear the questions and me answer them but basically um there's an upgrade i think to the turnip calculator because there's like this turnip calculator for like your turnips prices of what you get in the morning and what you get in the afternoon so i saw it and i think it's more accurate and if it's more accurate, I'm really disappointed with my prices because they've been low, and the highest it's gonna be is probably 136, and that's uh, that's a decent price. But like, hopefully, one of them gets a spike of 400 because then we'll be bank, we'll be making the monies, and the virtual game, not the actual game, and uh, that we call life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, so hopefully I makes lots of monies. Um, I spent also another a hundred. I don't know if I said it in the last podcast, but I did spend um a hundred mil. No, one mil. There you go. I math. Um, I did spend one mil. Oh no no no! My external drive just fallen. If that has fallen all the way down, it would have disconnected and it would be all bad. Oh yeah. Anyways, so I did spend one mil on turnips, and my house did upgrade, so now I have a, one story on the top, and I did not know what to do with it. I really don't know how to decorate my house. Like, it's, there's so much you can do and decorate with. So, like, legit, I just have a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it looks, it looks decent so far, I mean, for just getting it. I do have a lot of more storage since all my stuff that I put on the floor, on the top floor, is out and, like, you know, the upgrade. But, uh, so, in order for me to upgrade again, it's gonna be another mil plus 200,000. And, um, hopefully, I don't think this week I would do it. I think the next week I will because then, you know, it's Sunday, get more turnips and then you get another price so another big bulk of, of monies. So hopefully soon I'll get the bottom and I'll, uh, it's like a, like a basement. And I think I, I have a good, good uh, way to decorate that part. But you guys probably don't care about Animal Crossing and all this stuff. But it's like all I've been really doing. And besides that, I haven't even really been playing my Xbox. I've just been watching YouTube mainly on it. Even though I have Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus, I haven't been watching those either. Just YouTube. I don't know why. Probably gonna look up some more shows. I I heard about some shows on 
uh, Netflix that's really good. Um, but besides that, uh, I just been playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I let you wake up just to look at the prices and knock back out. Um, I've been actually, I just, I don't know why I won't tell you this, but I've actually been sleeping really well lately. Like, maybe it's the, the NyQuil I've been taking to help my, my throat, but like, uh, the last night was like the best sleep I've ever gotten. Uh, I was told I was snoring because I was on FaceTime with somebody and, and not just knocked out. Um, I was snoring and I was wheezing and I think that's probably because when I woke up I had like stuff in my throat and I spit it out. But um, besides that, like I slept pretty good. Like my throat, I didn't wake up because my throat was hurting or anything. I, I woke up like one time to go to the restroom at 6.30 in the morning. And I thought I wasn't going to go back to sleep, but then I just knocked back out again, and then I woke up around 9 to check the prices, and then I knocked back out again, and then I woke up, like, at 12.30ish, and I was like, I should just get up right now, and I was hungry, so I went to brush my teeth, and I went to go back onto the game real quick to check the afternoon prices, and then I went to the kitchen, and there was food, which was really awesome, and I ate food, and... Then I did my normal routine that I do to help my throat. I did not take Dayquil yet, so I don't think I need to. But then again, I don't know. I think there's something. Stop staring! Oh my gosh, I wish you guys can see my turtle. He's just like. And I'm like, Aah. oh my goodness, the crane could me out. But yeah, so I don't know what I can do to help my throat even more. But later, I'm going to the store. I'm going to get um uh, a few things for tomorrow for the beach um but besides that i think i want to get some stuff to help me too so so i won't feel um more sick or anything um it was weird because when i asked my aunt to buy me the day cool night cool and ibuprofen um i woke up i was just like oh like my throat was bad like not as bad as earlier because like a few months ago it was really really bad and this time it was like starting to get really bad and i was like i need to stop it before it gets really bad and i called my aunt right away because it was like around like 12 ish or one and that's when she gets out of work um so i was driving home i called her and i said hey where are you and she's like oh i got out of work work late and i heard the car so i was like oh she's in the car i was like oh, do you think you can pick up some like like stuff for me at the store and she's like what what do you need and i was like oh uh just maybe i was thinking some ibuprofen and day cool and night cool because that's helped me last time when i was sick my grandma gave me that and um she picked it up for me which is pretty good so i think that's why my throat's getting better a little faster than last time i think i don't know i'm just keep talking about my throat maybe you guys don't really care <laughs> but it, I, I just really want to i'm really concerned like like i don't know my tonsils has been like like since the last time my tonsils were like swollen and they've been a little swollen like for a long time and then they got more swollen and that's when i was like oh no they're getting bad again but they haven't gone back down to normal my other aunt said maybe I need to get them removed, but then I'm just like, maybe they'll go down, and I just need to see a doctor. That's been period. I just need to see a doctor. But uh, let's just get into the questions. It's only just almost been 20 minutes of me just talking about my throat and whatever else I talked about. But, um, yeah, so let's get into these questions before I end up having no time for them. So I got them on my phone. I just screenshot into them so I can remember them. And, um, yeah, so craziness. Uh, let's start with the first question. It says, if you had to suck musty toes to save a life, would you? Um, that's gross. <laughs> I don't like feet. Um, especially I wouldn't like feet in my mouth. Um, I, well, I, I don't mind looking at feet. <laughs> I mean, because I hear when people say, I don't like feet. That means like they don't like looking at feet. They don't like seeing feet or anything. But like, it's part of the human body. It's, it's okay to be looked at. I mean... I don't know but it would i suck um toe basically to save a life i don't know what musty means but i'm pretty sure that means really gross um oh uh, so it's basically a life's on the line and i have to suck a toe to save a life 
I think I would just suck the toe to save a life because if that person dies just because I won't suck a stupid toe and suffer for a few minutes just so I can live, then that would be bad. So I guess I'll suck a toe to save a life. Gross. Please don't ever put me in the position, anybody. <laughs> don't want to do it. Uh, another one. When you hear the word love, what is your first emotion? First, what's your first emotion you feel? So that's kind of an interesting question because you can hear that from a family member, hear it from a friend, or hear it from somebody that you are in a romantic relationship with. So if I hear it from a family member, I'm just like, I get like, oh, like you love me <laughs> like a little happy because i'm like oh you don't you don't just you just don't have to deal with me you actually do love me um the only person that has ever told me about me is uh my grandpa and my little brother like person that i can remember but uh but the, uh i'll be like haha they love me but uh from a friend i'll be like wow they like me they actually like care about me cool i don't know like, what kind of emotion again probably like a like a warm fuzzy feeling like yay i'm, I'm cool um from a romantic partner partner i don't know i think okay like like probably like like this like i don't know like it's like a nervous like 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 kind of like excited or like i don't even know how to explain it kind of feeling fr from that word i'm just like it's like a, like a wow. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. Next question. <laughs> uh, you see someone about to jump off a very tall ledge. What do you do now? Are they going bungee jumping? Because what if I go like, what are you doing? And they're like, I'm going bungee jumping. You want to bungee jump? I'll be like, no. <laughs> but go ahead, do it. Can I record you? Uh, but if it's for a different reason, say like they're like planning to end everything and just like um i'd ask him what got them there in the first place like people they i think those people just want somebody to listen to them and i really want to i'm actually a very curious person so i'm like oh, why why you didn't i i need to know why of everything um so i just talked to them and like hopefully they don't jump but um if it's for a cool epic video and doing stunts and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. I'm like, can I record it for my video? But yeah, maybe just talk to them, most likely. No matter each situation, probably just talk to them first. Listen, you know? Uh, next question. Uh, if there is one person in this world you take to go backpacking with, who would it be? Okay, we all know I've been itching for a backpacking adventure. Um one person only i mean come on if i want to go backpacking for the first time i want to bring everybody i know like my friends maybe my cousins maybe everybody like that i've known in my life that's actually been backpacking and people that i wore my backpacking class that didn't get to go with me um so one person i guess has to be ada because she's the one that asked this question and i think that's what she was looking for <laughs> why not just take her i mean i think I think it'd be fun. Um, next question. What's one word that triggers you? One word that triggers me. I guess when people say you're annoying, like you're annoying, and I'm just like, that means everything I like, everything that excites me, everything that happens is annoying. Um, I guess the word annoying. I don't know. I don't really know what triggers me. Honestly, I don't really think anything does but then again i could be wrong um maybe the word annoying someone calling me annoying it makes me sad <laughs> it really does especially my whole life i've been called that and i felt like i was a burden to everyone's life but that's that was the past <laughs> maybe i still feel like that um another one are you single wow that's a very interesting question I feel like my throat's making me talk weird. Um, that's a very interesting question. Um, am I single? I would have to say no. Am I? Wait, did I say that right? <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. You never know. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> it's a mystery. You may not never, you may never, the world may never know. 
<laughs> That's from a commercial. When they lick the lollipop to try to find the center of the Tootsie Roll in the world may never know. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Pay attention to my life. Maybe you'll find out. I don't know. Maybe I'll tell you in person. Oh, maybe because I don't really like telling my personal stuff online. So yeah, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Uh, next question. Is water wet? Short answer, water is not wet. It is not wet because it's sticky. It's sticky, not as sticky as syrup, but it sticks to your skin. It's not, and you can wipe it off easily, but it's not wet. I can get into the molecules and all that stuff, but it's not wet. Water is not wet. <laughs> Let me repeat. Water is not wet. Water is not wet. Water is not wet. <sighs> Why am I single? Okay, so first of all, since I know you on a personal level and I've been in your life for a while, I want to say this because this is what I think of why you are single. I believe you're a very compassionate person and you have all these emotions and these good things. How do you say good traits? Is that the word for traits about you, personality wise, and all that stuff? You have a lot of good things about you, and it can be overwhelming for a lot of people that don't know you right off the bat. And I feel like when you're trying to talk to people, get into a relationship, it's like they don't really like that they can't control you as a person. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm not. But the thing is, from what I've seen, I feel like those people that you've either uh, been with or almost been with, as you can say, um, they can't handle who you are because you are one fantastic amazing human being and that goes for a lot of people actually why they're single i believe is because they're too much for somebody and they can't find the right person because that right person is scared <laughs> to to speak out or some way but why i believe this person is single is because they are an amazing human being and they are going to find the person that really loves them for their in and out like inside and out and for the wacky crazy self and for their amazing serious self like from all of it all of they have to offer as a human being to the world in general i feel like i've said this to my other friend before and they're in a very great relationship right now and yeah like legit they're amazing and people just can't handle it some people can't mostly a lot of people can't handle a person that is self-aware of themselves self-loving of themselves and that just knows who they are <laughs> some some people like to locate kind of control people that kind of sucks but let's go on to the next question what's the weirdest date you've been on have i been on a date the weirdest date i can only think of is when i was in talk about and i was talking about myself a lot um to the point to where i felt very uncomfortable and nervous um, I think that's the weirdest thing because I did hit my head. <laughs> I'm not gonna say how. Um, can't hear anything else. But, um, I don't know. I think that's the weirdest day I've been on. Um, or actually, the movies one. I, um, accidentally let a gas pass. But then again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just an awkward person, I'm told, so... I don't really know what the weirdest date I've been on. The other person's been fine from what I've experienced. I'm just not that person. <laughs> Next question. Um, if you were in an alternate universe, what would your life be like? If I was in an alternate universe, wouldn't I be like the complete opposite of myself? Wouldn't that be it? Because an alternate... It's like basically it's who you are now. And then it's like the opposite of you. I feel like I would be a really, really bad person. <laughs> or, or maybe a good person, but a different gender. <gasps> That'd be cool. Whoa, would I look like the same in an alternate universe? Or would I look, would I look like different? Oh my gosh. I think my life would be way different than it is now. Um, the beginning of my life would probably would be better than what it is now. What it is for me that I had. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to live in this amazing house with my grandparents and my aunts and my uncle uh, and my cousins across and all that. Like, like legit, oh my god, that'd be crazy. Like, I wouldn't 
I wouldn't even, would I even have a turtle as a pet? Dang. Just to think about that. That's really crazy. You can think about it, like, pondering that, and you just be like, am I even real? <laughs> but uh, next question. <laughs> that, one, that one was a little confusing for my mind. Okay, so what would your death row meal be? Oh my god, what would I do to be on death row? Okay, so my meal, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have to pick, like, one, like, specific thing? Because if you do, then that kind of sucks because I kind of like a lot of things. Like, I like tacos and spaghetti. And, ooh, I want to do... No, I'm not going to do a spaghetti taco. That's not what I'm thinking of at all. I was thinking maybe on a big big plate and just like all kinds of like food so like spaghetti tacos burritos oh my gosh salsa for sure salsa has to be in that meal because i love salsa and a little lemons on the sides just, oh my goodness and chips oh lemon lays chips oh what about the dynamites oh my goodness oh my gosh i'm hungry again i don't even have any of that food on me <laughs> i did have spaghetti yesterday though that was pretty good okay next question um is a hot dog a sandwich interesting technically they both have buns so buns being bread um both of the 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 meat goes in the middle and and in the sandwich all the stuff goes in the middle so you would assume that a hot dog is basically another form of a sandwich but i don't think so because the bun is basically one bread split into two but a sandwich has two which is the top bread and the bottom bread so i would have to say no a hot dog is not a sandwich and how high were you when you asked me this question <laughs> how high am i for knowing the answer to this question um no a hot dog is not a sandwich a hot dog is a hot dog and a sandwich is, is a sandwich yeah so yeah hot dog no sandwich don't don't change my mind and that's actually all the questions that i have um so yeah that's all i have for today and um hopefully i do great in life I don't know why I just really wanted to say that because I'm really scared that I'm not going to do great in life. I think a lot of people can relate to that because you're doing all this hard work and doing all these things and you're succeeding a little bit by little and then at the end of the day you end up not doing that great. That would suck. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that's actually all I have for today. Hopefully I answered those questions in the best way I could have done and hopefully my throat isn't as annoying as I think it sounds <laughs> it's funny how I said that's my trigger word and I say it to myself I say it to myself because you know I can say it to myself just so I can prepare for when someone says that I am then I can be like I know instead of being hurt that I still get hurt <laughs> but it's okay it's okay I'm fine I swear I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine um so yeah, send me more questions. Like, I want to answer some deep questions, some questions that people are afraid to ask. Ask them. And I'm going to do another Twitter. Uh, no, Twitter. It was Instagram, right? Yeah, Instagram thingy where they can ask me questions. Um, thank you for all those who answered my questions. I mean, I mean, I answered the questions. <laughs> thank you for all those who asked me questions. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you for listening. Maybe you will come back. Uh, for more and if you do i'll be here maybe talking about something new but until then enjoy life especially now in these times i just added that last part wasn't that cool okay bye <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. sorry